Timothy grass is an abundant perennial grass native to most of Europe except for the Mediterranean region. It is also known simply as Timothy, or as meadow cat stale a common cat stale. It is one of the phleum genus, consisting of about 15 species of annual and perennial grasses. It is probably named after Timothy Hansen, an American farmer and agriculturalist said to have introduced it from New England to the southern states in the early 18th century. Upon his recommendation it became a major source of hay and cattle fodder to British farmers in the mid-18th century. Timothy grass can be confused with meadow foxtail and purple stem cat's tail. Description. It grows to 19 to 59 inches tall, with leaves up to 17 inches long and one half inch broad. The leaves are hairless, rolled rather than folded, and the lower sheaths turn dark brown. It has no stolons or rhizomes, and no auricles. The flower head is two or and three quarters minus six inches long and one quarter to one half inches broad, with densely packed spikelets. It flowers from June until September. The stamen are pink. The ligule is short and blunt. It grows well in heavy soil, and is noted for its resistance to cold and drought, and thus ability to grow in dry upland or poor sandy soils. In pasture it tends to be overwhelmed by more competitive grasses. After cutting it grows slowly. Subspecies there are two subspecies, Phleum pratens subsp. Pratens, larger to 59 inches tall, widespread. Phleum pratens subsp. Bertoloni, smaller to 27 and a half inches tall. Calcareous grassland. Cultivation and uses. Timothy grass was unintentionally introduced to North America by early settlers, and was first described in 1711 by John Hurd from plants growing in New Hampshire. Hurd named the grass Hurd grass, but a farmer named Timothy Hansen began to promote cultivation of it as a hay about 1720, and the grass has been known by its present name since then. Timothy has now become naturalized throughout most of the U.S. and Canada. It is commonly grown for cattle feed and, in particular, as hay for horses. It is relatively high in fiber, especially when cut late. It is considered a harsh, coarse grass little relished by livestock if cut earlier. It is considered part of the standard mix for grass hay and provides quality nutrition for horses. Timothy hay is a staple food for domestic pet rabbits. Guinea pigs, chinchillas, and dagoos are often making up the bulk of their diet. Timothy hay is rich in long fiber and its abrasive texture helps to grind down the teeth, keeping both the teeth and jaw in good order. The caterpillars of some Lepidoptera use it as a food plant, e.g. the Essex skipper, the marbled white. It also grows in roadsides and abandoned fields but generally requires nutrient-rich soils. Its pollen is a common allergen. It has recently been used in small amounts as part of a new hay fever vaccine Grazix, which is designed to recondition the body's immune system so it no longer responds to pollen. Plants persist through the winter. Dead, straw-colored flowering stems may persist, but only for a short time, and are recognized by the distinctive spike-like inflorescence. Confusion with other species. It is often confused with meadow foxtail. Timothy flowers later, from June until August, whereas meadow foxtail flowers from April until June. The spikelets of Timothy are twin horn-like projections arranged in cylindrical panicles, whereas foxtail has a soft, single horn. Purple stem cat's tail prefers lighter soils and grows on chalk downland. Mountain Timothy grows above 6,000 feet. A wild Timothy was found to grow in Yosemite at the time of its discovery but may have been a foxtail. Timothy canary grass, another species with a similar cylindrical panicle, is toxic to livestock. 